the class with Bailey. Today I'm going to show you how to decorate a seesaw. You can get all the stuff from the dollar store. You can get a seesaw from the dollar store. You want to make sure you get a big one because you want to put sparkles in the pieces here. Or you can get one at the beach. You want. Okay. I already did one here. I did half here. You want the way you paint it, you want to use a sponge because you, if you use a paintbrush, you will have paint smears all over it. So, what you want to do here, all you want to do is just dab it and just like do that, like just dab it and smear it. And you won't have any um, paint smears if you use the sponge. Um, you want to use a uh, summer color pink, the, any summer color that you like. Okay, and you want to use one coat. If it depends on the kind of paint that you are using, you might want to do two coats. Okay, you will need a, um, a paintbrush with a tiny paintbrush on the end of it. Then you don't want some white glue. You can get this at the dollar store. That normal white glue. You can dab it on the paper or you can use that put your paintbrush on it. I do dab it on the paper. I want to do is take a paintbrush and uh, smear it right on that, right in the creases. And then you want to get whatever sparkle that you are using and uh, dab it onto the glue. I need that. Do that. And if you want, you can get blow, get that, get that extra sparkles off. Or you can get bring your finger around it and it will look like that. The reason why we're doing it on a separate piece of paper is because you can do that, do this, and you can put it back into the sparkle jar and you don't waste any sparkles that you didn't use. Okay. The reason why I'm using two kinds of sparkles is because you want to pick a sparkle that you what you paint your sea cell with with so I paint my sea cell um, pink so I'm using pink sparkles and then you want to pick um, a different kind of sparkle oops that you are using to give it a bit of a snazzy look to make it pop out at you so if you are using, um, if you using, you paint your sea cell blue. If you want to use blue, and you might want to use a pink to give it the snazzy look. If you need to add more glue, go right ahead. If you need more glue, go right ahead and just dab it on that. If you want, you don't have to do. Um, uh, pink gold, pink gold. You can use, you can get, skip every other ones. So you skip one and you go to that. So you don't have to switch back and forth with the sparkles. Okay. So I'm not going to do all of the thing because I'm on a time limit. So I'll just show you how I glue the string, string on. If you don't have any spray, you can use wool or any type of thing, uh, any type of material that can hang on a wall. So you can cut any type of length you want for it. And I used a hot glue gun for this. If you're not allowed to use a hot glue gun, please ask for help because this part is really tricky and you might burn yourself when you're doing it. So what you want is to make sure you can go in the middle right here. Okay, you want to make sure that you do not hang on an angle. It can hang straight. So you just put some glue here and you can go as long as you like with the glue. Take your string and put it right in the 
And if you're afraid that you might burn yourself, you can always get the end of your paintbrush and then push the roll into the hot glue. And with the other piece, you just want to hot glue the wall that you already put down. And put it there and use the paintbrush if you're afraid of getting burnt. You can hang it. You can hang it on your wall, and after you've done all of it, it will look something like this. Okay, put it down so we can. Hear it will look something like this. It will look something like this. Um, please leave a comment if you wish. I would love to know what you think of it, and. If you want to watch more uh, of our videos, please go in to Craft with Bailey and Darcy. Thank you for watching. Bye.